Why does my pool pump keep turning itself off? If you've discovered that your pool pump is off, and you're like, oh, that's strange, and you go and you look, and maybe the breaker's tripped out, maybe it's not, but in any case, you kind of do the normal thing and turn it off and turn it back on again, and look at that, the pump starts back up. You come out again at a later time, that pump is off again. What's going on here? So what is probably happening here to this pump is that it's probably experiencing an overcurrent or overheat situation, probably both. In either case, this is kind of the hallmark of an electric motor that's reaching the end of its service life. It could have had damage or premature failure for a number of different reasons, but ultimately you're in a situation now where it's drawing too much current, it's tripping the breaker, uh, it's able to cool down, you're able to reset it, it starts back up and it runs again, everything seems fine, then it turns off again in the future. Again, that's kind of like your hallmark symptoms for an electric motor that's reaching the end of its service life. And it's drawing too much current because all the windings in the motor uh, start to kind of short out and melt together. And the current pathway used to be much longer, but now it's getting shorter from all these shorting windings. And that changes the current that it's drawing and it draws more than it's supposed to, which ends up creating more heat, causing more damage. And it creates this like spiral cycle uh, that ends up killing these electric motors. The good news for you is if this is happening to you, there's a very good chance we're talking about a single speed pool pump. And the truth is you should upgrade to a variable speed pool pump. It is an investment, they are expensive, it absolutely will save you money when you use it properly, and like a substantial amount of money, probably enough to pay for itself in full completely, maybe even more than once over. And it's a really good technology, it, it's something that you're probably a little bit past due on because the, the amount of power that a, a swimming pool pump uses and how inefficient it really is, is, not really a level of inefficiency that you would accept from any other appliance in your home, but they're kind of like grandfathered in these low efficiency pool pumps. It's kind of what it's always been. Like in 1970, it was exactly the same as the one that you've got right now. There has to be something better. There is something better. It's a variable speed pool pump. If your pump is tripping the breaker over and over again, it's probably just on its way out. One of these times, it's just gonna fail to start altogether. Don't wait for that because like, I mean, you could have a fire or something like that. So you're better to just go ahead, pull the trigger on that variable speed pool pump right now. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.